Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover day-to-day -day DIY projects of garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Hello, good morning everyone. Hope everyone's fine and well and dandy. Um, this is a compilation of a couple of days. Um, just to uh, uh, forewarn you that the video, uh, or the part of this video with uh, me walking Una, um, is nearly uh, uh, illegible uh, because of the wind noise. And I do apologize for that, but because the camera I was using at the time um, doesn't have uh, the ability to have a microphone um, put onto it. It's the Insta360 Go 3. Um, so uh, apologies for that, but that will be on this, this video. So it's, it's Wednesday. Um, Una, she's been a bit of a poo-poo head today. Uh, she just wants to um, uh, dig and dig and dig. So she's, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, it may be because of the diet we've put her on because she's put too much weight on. That's, oh, that could be my fault. But um, she's still cute, nevertheless. I love to bits. Um, so, uh, this week I have been uh, doing a bit of gardening. Uh, I've, there's a bit of footage on, on here with that. Uh, I've done a bit of uh, <laughs> minor Jeet's electrical finishing off work, which, as you'll see by the, the vid, I'm just a total cock. <laughs> I didn't think about it before I replaced the uh, the unit, as in the socket, rather. But you'll see that. Uh, yeah, I would, uh, it should be Dave's stupid diaries in France. That's what it should be. But um, yeah, so so that's on this this video. Um, what else can I tell you? Right, uh, I'm trying to think what I said to you the other day regarding when I was walking Una. Uh, yesterday, rather. So, uh, we're going away this weekend and we're taking Una with us. Um, we're going to Brittany, uh, Morbihan, uh, on the coast. Um, we're staying in a hotel with Una. So that should be interesting. Um, we just need a, a break away. Um, we're both frazzled out at the moment and, um, me physically and my wife mentally um so we we just need some time out I, I, we just don't stop um our life is just busy from day to day and you just want to collapse in the evening so you you've got to allow yourself to regenerate and uh, having a weekend away and chilling out is the way to go in my opinion um so that's what we're going to do, um, but it's Wednesday today, so I'm I'm in the um, hour doer upper. Um, I really I'm not in the mood for doing anything. I just yeah my my wrist. I know I'm going to aggravate my wrist again, but I need to crack on with it um, and get it done. I've only got a little little bit to do in the main living area in this place. Regards skimming. And um, I've got the bathroom to do and uh, just some odds and sods. So I'm hoping to get that done today. Uh, I'm not going to film it because you've seen me do it before. So I'm just going to crack on with it and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've done um, to complete it. And then after that, it's just sand, sand, sand and then paint. I just can't wait for paint because as soon as we're painted, the floor goes down and it's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. Um, so for the, for the people that are going to move in here, um, which we still don't know whether we're going to sell or rent. I think sell. Um, yeah, sell. And I'll free up some cash for me <laughs> to buy a new motorcycle. As if I can ride anymore. It's been... God, I'm trying to think. The last time I rode a my, my motorcycle, my KTM Super Duke 1290, um, was in 2020. 
about September 2020. That's four years, well, three and a half years ago, more or less. Oh, I'm just, I, I don't know what to do. Um, I'd love to get back on a bike, but, you know, I've just got too much to do. Too much to do. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Um, I'm just blabbing on now. I do apologise. Um, I'm just just tired. That's all. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Catch you in a minute. Well, I'm back. Update. You can see I've uh, finished off this wall. Uh, these walls are done. Pretty much, I've just got to do some finishing up. The where the coving was, or rather, where that rose joint was, that's all done. Where the coving was at the top, I've just got to do a light skim around the very top, as in the, the ceiling. And uh, yeah. So, oh, and this uh, where the hose was, the vent. I've just done that as well, as you can see up there. Just got to wait for that to dry and then sand it back. And you wouldn't even know it was there. And done some patching there. I'm going a bit too fast, aren't I? So you can see the wet bits. Um, I've done some, some filling in in the bathroom. Uh, just some minor things. This stuff is very easy to sand down, so it just sands down to a nice smooth surface. The, the stuff for uh, the product I'm using for the bathroom is uh, like a, a water water resistant finish, um, which is ideal for the bathroom. I just need to sand this side down and then do the ceiling. The ceiling is it had carpet on it. Can you believe that? So, that's me done for the day. My wrist is killing me. And uh, I've got to strap it up. Um, so, I'm going to head off home now. Feed little Una. And uh, I might do some filming in Brittany, actually. Oh, by the way, we haven't got fibre yet. Yet. The missus is uh, handbagging on that, I think. She wants the very best deal. I, I, I can't blame her. Me, I'm just impatient. I'll go for the, the best deal possible at the time. But she's, uh, she uh, deep dives into these things. So, yeah, this video will now be, I'm, I'm guessing, around 12 minutes, 15 minutes long. That will take 24 hours to upload to YouTube. Um, <laughs> we're averaging uh, less than three meg uh, upload. In fact, no, no, download. Less than three meg download and, and not even one meg upload. Uh, this is just ridiculous. So, and we've promised, yeah, 10 meg. Yeah. So, I can't wait to get fibre. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, follow, follow, subscribe. It's all right, I'm, I'm just a bit jittery at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to go, uh, so uh, ta-ta for now. Yesterday! Ah, good morning. Day. It's Tuesday. Had a couple of days off. Wrist. Have to. Have to. To, re to relax it. It's been uh, nothing but rain for the last what, five, six days, and today is the first dry day. Uh,
seven subscribers at last count. It keeps on fluctuating. Welcome to my new subscribers. Um, I hope to uh, footage. Well, I say good footage, adaptive footage, I suppose you could say. I do apologise for the wind noise. It's still a bit windy. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's been a bit quiet. I managed to clear the kiwi. Uh, prune the kiwi fruit uh, tree down that's all good now I've got a tip run to do today I've got another bit of bush cutting to do today final paint splash in the uh, sheet Aliona and uh, all should be good um, we're going away this coming weekend a uh, couple of days in Brittany, Morbia, where we like. We're taking Una with us. Hopefully uh, Una's going to experience the sea. That should be fun. Una! <laughs> She's a brat. What are you doing? She's a good dog. She's a. Uh, she's been a bit alone lately. She's got that skin flaring up every now and again. Um, so we keep uh, giving her some milk. And we wash her at least three times a week. Uh, that's fun in the downstairs shower. Uh, I don't do it. Um, but you're okay, aren't you, Una? Yeah. She's a good girl. She uh, tends to get a bit scatty, though, as young pups do. She likes a good walk, though. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to Brittany. Uh, like I said, taking Una with us. Um, accommodations all booked. Uh, leaving Friday. Nice weekend away. I think that's what we need a break. Because uh, um... oh, she's doing. She's getting from you. Um, because I, I've just been non-stop, and and the wife. She's been non-stop. Um, She's getting a bit disillusioned with her job at the moment. It's not the way uh, she would run things. But it's different in France. She's got to come to grips with that. Everything's different in France. I love it here. Um, but uh, it's different. And you just adapt. <laughs> One of the things I do not like about France is the administration, obviously. I've said that before. I mean, when you can create a business on your five-year ID card, which you apply for and get when you get it here, uh, you, can, you can create a business with that ID card. Um, if you want to close the business down, you can't with that ID card. Uh, so I've been told. Um, because the ID card is valid for five years and you need a 10 year ID card. Yeah, so the administration is all over the place. It's like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. But hey, that's uh, French administration. Uh, but I mean, what's not, what's not to love? Where we are, I absolutely adore it here. What are you doing? So, as I said, I've got a few things to do today. If I film them, I film them. If I don't, I don't. Hopefully I do. Hopefully I'll remember to film them. 
and uh, we can crack on, or it'll be a compilation uh, of what's been happening this week. So, I'll catch you in a bit. So, kiwi tree pruned, pruned and uh, pruned. Brilliant. That's another job ticked off. This, got to gravel that. It's a natural uh, spring, I guess. Not spring, it's a runoff, natural runoff. But uh, the previous owners put a filtering system in it for the pool, which is quite clever. So, all I've got to do now is load the van, get to the dishettery. <laughs> <laughs> 